Well, good morning, ladies and gents. Welcome to Friday morning. It's the 22nd of October, and this morning is definitely different to yesterday. It's not quite so wild. A bit of a breeze, and uh, well, the skies are clearing. So we'll see what happens today. Again, just doing a, a morning walk around this field, and uh, two of the liveries are out already. Uh, the, Basically what we do with them is so we can chuck them out into the field but we have to bring them in at night. So we mean to poach all the ground out, either by overfeeding it or overgrazing it. And uh, generally they don't end up destroying it with the hooves quite so much. Which they'll do anyway, but <laughs> little things. So right, let's see what happens today then. So a quick update on this, uh, on the swimming pool project. Uh, basically we've filled everything back in, <laughs> so there was an all there, an all there, and this is where the big pipes were, coming down the bank from, oop, I can't see if it's on, from ooh, up there. So in the end we basically couldn't find a leak at the pool. Uh, the boss had narrowed it down to being, well, one of three pipes which come on this side, which one is the outlet, which I dug up, two is the sump at the bottom of the pool, and then three, there's another inlet that comes in. Um, and he reckoned it was one of those three. So when I dug that up, I said, we'll put pipe, uh, pump back on. And so when we dug that up, we'd put the pump back on and see if anything happened. No, it happened, but then we had quite a bit of rain as well. But we would have expected it to have gone down quite a bit. Even so, it did rain. Um, but nothing happened. It was exactly the same level. So, or near enough the same level. So, we decided to fill it in, and bosses put it down to um, pretty much the amount of people that were going in and out, and the heat. Which, I don't know. I've not been looking after this long enough. So... The only other possibility is it's in the sump. Um, but I say so that's well, seven foot down and under concrete. Um, yeah, that's not easy. But they did actually change the pipe work around because the pump house was actually in the main house at one point. So there's a possibility that somewhere down here there is a join that's leaking, but don't really think it would be because we'd expect a, a hollow or a wet patch or it doesn't just does, doesn't seem to make sense whichever way we look at it um even on the this one coming in back in if that was if that had a leak on it the air bubbles coming through we'd find soil and muck in the filters but we don't find anything and there's nothing in the bottom of the pool to say that there's there's no silt in there to say that there's been a, a problem so i don't know but at least digging this all up was kind of fact finding mission and knocking out that as a as a possible problem. So this is a new one for me as well. I don't know if you're gonna fly out now. But somewhere there. There you go, centre it screen now. There's actually a wasp's nest. In this banking. Basically it's just there. Um, but it's still active this time of year, which is very, very odd. Right, I'm going to leave it to it because I don't like wasps. Hopefully you can hear me all right. Yeah, this was a field that I was in with a combine this summer, somewhere over here. Um, looks a really nice established crop now. This is the second year they drilled into it. They took over the land a couple of years back. 
Um, and last year was a bit of a disaster for them. It wasn't a great crop, but they're still learning. It's real heavy clay in here. And it's actually pretty much mostly um, subsoil. Uh, we've got a, well, the geese went this morning, there's a, a big reservoir. And this field was actually level and they built it all up with the spoils from it. So there's everything in there. There's concrete blocks and all sorts. Um, no, it looks really good in there now. It's taking off well. Right, nice simple job this morning. Um, this is the start of our cross country course. So just down there, whoop, past the horse, is the first jump of the cross country course. And this was like the collecting ring slash warm arena. So there's just a few posts dotted around this edge and then there's two jumps just to warm up on. But we might be able to see a post from the ground and the horse have decided to scratch the backside on it. So I'm going to pull all the posts out and I've got some soil in the front and a 698 just to fill holes in so this lot, this lot that I decide to uh, break a leg in it. Uh, but it also looks like we've decided we're not going to run cross country anymore. So the bit of fencing we did over there, where I took the jump out, it was like the first jump to come out. So all these that are in this field are coming out. Uh, it's a bit sad really, but things like that white, well, pie ball, scratching the backside and that hasn't helped. Um, because we've not run it for two years now, a lot of jumps need replacing, so will be a, a job to do in the future, but in the meantime, we'll get these posts taken out. There's only like 10 of them. I think I got myself a new friend. Right, so it's getting a bit breezy now. Um, I've just been in here and cut the grass in what is one of our like, Airbnb jobs. Um, and we've finished again. Actually, we finished it a while back. Come out, I see a bit better. So, yeah, sleeper wall, retaining wall. We built all this level up and then uh, patio paving area and it's done. So it's table tennis and barbecue. And all you can see in there. But yeah, it turned out quite well. It's a big old space like. Um, if you can find a picture of before, I'll uh, I'll put it in. about now so yeah it's all all turned out quite well there's just one patch showing his out still which is down there but yeah it's not too bad and then bins and recycling so uh, yeah not looking too bad right time to go cut a bit more grass it's not a bad little view out